Hi, hi, I'm here. Going to do another test here with this Venom Super Stove. Except this time, instead of using the Heine pot, the Heineken pot, Heine pot, whatever, I'm going to use a standard Boy Scout pot. A little bit difference in width. This is about five inches in diameter versus three and a quarter inches about with this. I have two cups of water in here, setting at 58 degrees. Let's start the stove. Start the timer. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 6 minutes 10 seconds, full boil in 6 minutes 10 seconds. Let's see how long this runs to, uh, goes to run off, burn off. It's just about ready to run out. Going. Going. Oh, just hanging on. Oh, just went out. Let's say 11 minutes 20 seconds. Okay, interesting. This might not be a uh, test I can use. What had happened was I filled this, I put one fluid ounce of alcohol in at this time. But by putting the larger, the wider diameter pot on there, it looked like it reflected the heat down into the stove, heated up the alcohol and expanded it until it started flowing out <coughs> of the stove onto the uh, cement board here which then heated it up more and made for bigger, bigger flames. So maybe this should have been done with a half of a fluid ounce. I'll, I show, I'll show you, or I did show you this on camera too, the shot from this direction showing the alcohol just spilling out onto the countertop. But even with that, using the standard Boy Scout pot, <clears throat> it's about five inches in diameter, it brought two cups of water starting at wrong test here. Two cups of water starting at 58 degrees to a boil, full boil 
in 6 minutes and 10 seconds and then ran out in 11 minutes and 20 seconds with using one fluid ounce of alcohol in this. <coughs> hmm. I don't know, maybe the one fluid ounce is just too much. Maybe you need something in between half and a full, half and a one, three quarters or so. But anyway, that's the Venom stove using the Boy Scout pot versus the Heineken pot. I'm not sure if it's like I said, I'm not sure if it's a good test because of the alcohol overflowing. It made the alcohol expand and heat up even faster. So I don't know what to say about that. Anyway, I think I've been smelling too many fumes here. <clears throat> if anybody wants more tests on these, I'll do it. Should move on to other things. But, uh, yeah, i got to get some air. So anyway, thank you for watching. I look forward to your input on this stuff, your helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.